Hi everyone, my name's Dr. Rich McLean and I've got a well-documented mental illness, um, schizophrenia, and I've spent 30 years advocating for others all over this country on local, state, national and international levels. But in blunt terms, I've become a scapegoat. My journey's been marked by a disturbing lack of legal representation. I've never had a lawyer, a failed attempt at whistleblowing, all my public interest disclosures have been rejected, and the inability to seek help from law enforcement. So I can't go to police. This victimization that I've endured, which is unquestionably against the law, has repeatedly struck me financially and leaving me in a state of profound vulnerability. And right now I'm the guest of charity in a home of no fixed address without enough prosperity to even pay for rent. Looking back, it's clear these hardships were premeditated and my poverty has been intelligently designed and that's been from the highest echelons in the country. That includes the Office of Prime Minister and Cabinet who have refused my freedom of information when it was first described as voluminous and complex, but now they don't exist. I've found myself unfairly vilified for a mental illness that authorities intentionally amplified within me and used as a convenient scapegoat. This cruel plan involved pushing me to the brink of desperation and ultimately leading me to a hospitalisation where from out of protest, I attempted to take my own life. The, f the freedom of information records from the Wherry Mercy Hospital chillingly label this attempt as lethal and a fatal injury. Since then, there's been a concerted effort to whitewash the tragedy in which I was revived from certain death. And while I continue to suffer heinous, heinous abuse, victimization, a systemic and political persecution and demoralization. Adding to my burdens, I now carry a cognitive brain impairment alongside the existing mental illness, making it hard to reason and organize myself and my memory is affected. And this has been intentionally exacerbated by authorities by being totally covered up. My mental illness does indeed exist, but it's been manipulated and amplified in a conscious and malicious way to vilify me as part of an intelligently designed scheme to exploit my vulnerability. The malicious plan was twofold. First, to systemically and politically strip me of prosperity, and second, to take advantage of my desperation when I found myself homeless and hungry and ultimately leading to my incarceration. You can't get a vulnerable person, deny them all money until they're homeless and hungry, and then when they're distressed, blame mental illness and have all the oppressors, or all, all my oppressors, conveniently um, um, denied from any uh, um, wrongdoing or, um, or liability. And the litany of justices, injustices I've faced is staggering. Rights, they're non-existent. Legal help, I've never had a lawyer and that's an unattainable dream at the moment. My income protection insurance, that was flat out denied by HCF and now they've banned me and, and put a, a violence order on me so if I ring them, police will arrest me. I had a business, richmclean.com.au, which I worked on for 20 years, and it was maliciously destroyed by Micron 21, a uh, government-linked business. My digital identity, therefore, was stolen. All my logins, banks, MyGov, Centrelink, everything was gone. My work cover, that's been systemically dismantled and intelligently um, set up to fail, and it was a predetermined outcome. I was a former uh, partner of an ASIO agent, Steve Isonides, and a relationship settlement is a distant hope. And now that he's been done with extortion, he's threatened to kill me and my dog, but I can't go to police. My home, it's unattainable. I haven't got one. I'm the guest of charity at the moment. Medicine, I have medical needs. Um, my dexamphetamine script, and that's been denied. A fair trial, that's absolutely impossible. A malpractice complaint, that was conveniently silenced by a very powerful lawyer, Mr. Russell Ball, and silenced the Health Complaints Commissioner, Mental Health Complaints Commissioner, APRA, NHPOPC, the police, and the Victorian Ombudsman. I have the evidence. It's absolutely a case. Um, my whistleblowing, all of my public interest disclosures have failed at all government agencies, despite being a former public official who I worked for a hospital and also um, the former partner of a public official. Um, VCAT, I've been consistently ruled against. 
my human rights abuses ignored. The Australian Human Rights Commission won't even um, investigate my documented human rights abuses that my NDIS worker has made. I had possessions that were destroyed. I was taken from my home, locked up in a hospital for two and a half months. And while I was gone, the police and the hospital oversaw the destruction of every single thing I own. The CDD scheme for compensation, I've been blocked from that at the Department of Finance. My freedom of information requests, they've been denied. And the police have just recently got back to me and said it'll take over nine months to get my data back. I bet if they pulled me over, it wouldn't take them nine months to look me up. Um, my NDIS funding, you would think that a person with a disability has NDIS funding to be able to help them, but all of my funding has been locked up and the NDIS have intentionally and maliciously watched me become homeless um, whilst I have enough funding in my plan to pay for accommodation. All politicians, I've tried to get into contact with politicians and they've all neglected to help. The suicide attempt from this, this elongated, um, protracted persecution of me did end in my suicide attempt and now that tragedy is absolutely whitewashed, including at the Ombudsman. And the Disability Human Rights Charter, it doesn't apply to me. Privacy, I've recorded people surveilling my house, government authorities outside of my house, glaringly looking at me and, and following me and surveilling my house. Um, I'm also um, banned at the Australian Financial Complaints Authority. How can you be banned from a, a federal agency? That's like being banned from Centrelink or the tax office. The Australian Human Rights Commission, they refuse to investigate my known and documented human rights abuses. And the Ombudsman rejects my PID and they're accepting no further correspondence. There is no way for me to go forward. Um, my former partner is an ASIO agent and ASIO corruption is absolutely rife. Um, he's got away with exploiting me over five years and rejecting a settlement. And I tried to get AGIS to investigate ASIO and they've flat out refused. This amounts to torture for me. It's a dis disturbing reality that I'm systemically and politically tortured. Um, and justice, well, that's reserved for the privileged and those who've got money. So my plea today is for acknowledgement and support. Um, these injustices have left me with a nightmarish reality where my basic rights and dignity have been stripped away. I'm currently a guest to charity of no fixed address and I haven't got enough money for food or medicine or the scripts for medicine. And um, I'm literally in limbo, a scapegoat. And I implore anyone who hears my story today or who watches this video to please stand with me in seeking justice, transparency, and an end to the systemic corruption that has plagued my life. It's been intentional, it's been malicious, and it's been conscious, and it has an aim. And that aim is to cause me harm. And the harm happened, and now the harm's been covered up, but it's still, despite putting me at risk of suicide, systemically and politically redacts all my prosperity. And that's really risky to me, and it's hurtful as well. You can support Help Me reclaim my rights and shine a light on the darkness of these injustices from the Australian government, which is really tyrannical um, in its treatment of me. And please allow me to um, live so that I may give again and that I may live to give hope um, for others in the same situation. It's Dr. Rich McLean. I'm a scapegoat of the Australian government and I'm asking for your help today. Can you please share this video? Thank you.